on a hair tissue analysis across the board, everyone is deficient in molybdenum. The most unpronounceable mineral on the periodic table seems to be the most deficient mineral that I see in a daily practice. We're also very deficient in zinc. And so when we look at zinc, zinc sits on the periodic table. It's number 30 on the periodic table. Right under zinc sits cadmium and mercury. Mercury and cadmium can displace thousands of ions of zinc due to molecular mimicry. They become the agent provocateur, the imposter. And so when we have a zinc deficiency, these heavy metals take the parking space, kicking out the zinc, blocking the zinc. Remember, zinc is needed for at least 300 enzymatic functions in the body. And then when these heavy metals take the parking space of where zinc should be, we may have a deficit. It could be in some person, it may be in the production of insulin. You know, their zinc deficiency may affect the insulin production, whereas zinc deficiency in person B may be the neurotransmitters, where a zinc deficiency in person C may be uh, in the hormones. Maybe they have a zinc deficiency and they can't make pregnenolone. When you can't make pregnenolone, pregnenolone gives birth to all your steroidal hormones. So understanding how these minerals can impact many different aspects. So when I see deficiencies, I see huge amounts of zinc deficiencies, magnesium deficiencies, and molybdenum deficiencies as probably the three most common deficient minerals. But I'm seeing a lot of uh, toxic metals which are deplacing minerals. So if you have a lead toxicity, you're gonna have more than likely a calcium deficiency. So it's understanding the interaction of the anti-nutrient concept with the actual nutrient concept so we can really establish where the minerals are at. And that's why we like to employ hair tissue mineral analysis to really give us the greatest insight into the toxic metal load and to where the nutrient minerals are at. But to answer your question, which minerals do I see most deficient? I would have to say magnesium, zinc, and molybdenum are the three most common deficient minerals that I personally see. But there are many others that are deficient, but those are the three that stand out the most in my mind.